Hello, Ophiuchus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Node. Welcome back to Divine Conversations and welcome to this uh, oracle reading in terms of what spirit uh, needs you to know right now. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this message, this reading finds you well. So we're going to be using two new decks that have been uh, provided to the channel, donated to the channel by the beautiful soul that goes by the name of Stella. She has been blessing the channel with all of these beautiful crystals here and many, many, many gifts over the years. And uh, we are incredibly grateful to her. Um, and these two decks are really beautiful. I really love working with them. So the first deck we're going to use is this. It's the, this we're using sister decks um, and they're part of the Soul Trees series. First deck we're going to be using is the Soul Seeds Oracle. And then we're going to you work with the Soul Trees Ascension deck. And then I'm going to be getting some tarot messages for you from the Crystal Visions tarot, yeah? All right, Ophiuchus, uh, let's dive into this and see what messages Spirit has for you at this time. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you, God Source Creator, for bringing us together at this moment and providing us with the messages that you deem to be fit or the best for us at this moment um, at this time we ask that you please provide us with the messages that you have for your ophiuchans sun moon rising venus and north node what do you need your ophiuchans to hear and or to know at this time last shuffle i am seeing green for you here heart chakra activations um, heart chakra awareness, heart chakra alignment. I am hearing that particularly strongly. Uh, so, uh, heart chakra alignment. Um, some of you may be in the process right now of really coming to terms with yourself, who it is you are, who you, so, who you see yourself as, um, who you've seen yourself as all along in your life up until this point versus who how that perception of yourself can change in the better moving forward. A lot of self-acceptance energy I'm feeling and hearing for you. Um, coming to terms with a lot of things that have needed to be reconciled within yourself for a long time. Um, I'm getting uh, energies of self-care and self-awareness and healing in terms of your self-image. That's really, really beautiful. Um, it may be fairly difficult. That's not necessarily the easiest thing to do, but it's definitely something worth trying. Um, and I really, I want to, but also Spirit wants to, God Source Creator wants to commend you for the efforts that you have been putting forth in terms of this self-awareness, in terms of this greater heart chakra alignment, all right? So, excellent. So, what messages do you have for Ophiuchus at this time, please, Spirit? God, Source, Creator. Okay. First card you have is True, which is reversed, and then you have Cosmic, and then uh, Spirited, but Spirited is reversed. Okay, um, and I am working with um, in this deck specifically, this is the Soul Seeds Oracle. I am working with reversals for this deck specifically. It just happened that way. I, w I didn't even realize that it happened, but I shuffled at one point. I uh, Apparently, I shuffled in a way that caused um, a good number of the cards to be reversed. Um, and like I said, I didn't intend for that. I don't normally work with, I don't normally leave my cards, let my cards live in the deck reversed. But for this deck, at least for this series, it seems appropriate to allow at least this deck to be in reverse, some, uh, reverse to, to have reversals somehow. So that's what we're working with here. Um, it does seem to be very much in alignment. Overall energy at the bottom of the deck for you, Ophiuchus, is cheer, and that is also in reverse. So the message that I'm getting for you right now, Ophiuchus, is that you have been struggling with certain truths about yourself um, and that's on a cosmic level the, the the only card that's here that is up upright for you is cosmic um, and what this is what this is speaking to the, the what i'm the feeling that i'm getting from cosmic here is your i'm hearing your divine right to choose okay but also your divine existence your cosmic self your spiritual self the the aspects multiple yes aspects plural 
of you that are not physical. Um, because there's more to you than just your physical reality, okay? Um, and what I feel like here with true in reverse, but I kind of want to say with truth in reverse, but really the card does say just true. With true in reverse here, what I feel like is happening for you right now in terms of these this heart chakra awakening and coming to a deeper sense of truth within yourself, I feel like you are in a moment of facing the truth. But really how I want to say that is coming to terms with the parts of yourself that have been a reflection of the, mm, the lack of truth that you've been aware of. Something about your, re your physical experience or your physical life is not a true reflection of who you truly are on a cosmic level, on a universal level, on a ultimately non-physical level because... Your physical representation, while it is a part of you, um, often we deal with the with physical representations of our true and whole self, of our full self that are not necessarily a true reflection of that whole self, of that spiritual being, of that spiritual self. M mostly that happens because when we incarnate into this existence, into this life, we accept what many of us call a veil of forgetfulness, where we are fitted with this, this barrier or this, this veil that is intended to cut us off or seemingly make it seem like we are cut off from the greater reality or the greater truth of who we are. And that is intentional because that really helps us be immersed in this physical reality so that we can really have the opportunity to gain the most um, growth, expansion, the most out of our experience here in the physical, okay? So it's a very necessary part of physical life. I don't want you to guys to, to think that something is wrong with you or anything like that. There is nothing wrong with you. We all choose to accept this veil that creates an illusion for us that makes it feel or seem like we are nothing more than this physical existence, this physical being. We forget about our lives outside of the physical. We forget about the physical lives that we've experienced in the past previous to this one. Um, and it, it, I just want to say this one short thing. It's not necessarily that these are previous lives, but from our linear point of view, it seems like it's experienced as this, we've had lives previous to this one, but in reality, all of these, everything is happening all at once, but I'm not really going to get into that. I just wanted to make sure that I, I made that clear. Um, so what I'm, ex what I'm getting for you in terms of this Ophiuchus is you are working with coming to the truth, with true in reverse, of your cosmic self of your cosmic being of the fullness of who you truly are okay the lacking in this truth has created a level of lack of cheer and a level of lack of being spirited spirited here is in reverse so what i'm getting with this spirited in reverse is a lack of passion a lack of desire a lack of drive uh seemingly at least some of you may be going through a time period right now where um, some of the things that you were spirited about or really passionate or enthusiastic about, some of the things that may have driven you in the past, that may have given you or filled you with a sense of cheer, are no longer that fulfilling for you, okay? What was true for you in the past may no longer be true for you now. And that is what is seeming to drive this level of heart chakra or awareness or coming to terms with things or seeking the truth of who you really are on a grander level, on a more cosmic level to help you regain that cheer, to help you regain that sense of spiritedness, to help you regain that sense of passion and drive. Okay, and this is all driven upon or based upon what it is you experience, you feel, you learn in terms with in terms of coming to terms with this true cosmic reality of who you truly are ultimately in a greater scale. All right, Ophiuchus, let's go deeper. Um, we're going to move to the Soul Seeds Ascension deck now. 
um, keywords here for understanding. What do you need your Ophiuchans to know at this time? Please, God, Source, Creator, please, Spirit. What do you need Ophiuchus to know? Let's expand on this a little bit, please. How can you expand on this more for your Ophiuchans, God, Source, Creator? I'm going to give this one last shuffle. But I want to look at, at the bottom of the deck. Okay, dreams. Pay attention to your dreams right now. Um, some of you may be reconnecting with certain dreams that you may have held in the past that you were that you once held, but then you were put, driven or pushed away from because of life circumstances. Um, some of you are also also in this energy of connecting to your true cosmic nature, your true cosmic reality. Some of you are actually. Um, uh, becoming aware of certain dreams that are within your that are held within your soul within your psyche within your energy that you may not have been aware previously aware of okay okay pay attention to that and pay attention to your dreams last shuffle all right so what do you need your Ophiuchans to know god source creator how can you expand on this for your Ophiuchans, please how do you want to expand on this for your Ophiuchans, god source creator all right, healing energy, ascension, and authenticity. Aha, but you see, authenticity came out, uh, the way I pulled it, it came out in reverse. Um, so, but I'm going to take that. Okay, bottom of the deck, you do have be receptive. So right now, what God source creator, what spirit needs you or wants you to know right now is this is a time for you to really be receptive. But honestly, Ophiuchus, I'm going to say that this is actually more of a confirmation that you are being receptive right now or that you being in a receptive energy is right on point, like is right exactly where you need to be. And that makes sense because if you're going to be exploring this cosmic reality or this true cosmic energy about yourself, then you're going to need to be be receptive so that you can receive the understanding you can receive the guidance you can receive the clarity you can see it for what it truly is or at least you can work towards that okay and so here you have that representation of that green energy that i was seeing for you in the beginning of the reading uh healing energy definitely very much a heart chakra situation very much a coming to terms with unconditional love coming to terms with loving yourself allowing yourself to be receptive in terms of this receiving this healing energy that you are seeking that you are working on cultivating okay you're definitely in that and because of that you are going through a level of ascension now this makes perfect sense Ophiuchus because what I really feel that's truly happening for you at this time is you are ex ascending to a higher level of spiritual awareness of self-awareness by you working on coming to terms with this cosmic energy about you who you truly are on a cosmic scale it is helping you to work towards gaining a greater level of authenticity, which is reversed here because in the past, up until the, this current moment, whenever this reading, you're watching this reading and it resonates for you, up until this current moment, you have been expressing yourself in a way that has been lacking in authenticity. But I don't want you to take that as um, derogatory or offensive or you being reprimanded in any way. Life circumstances have pushed you into that form of of expression life circumstances and it could very well be just the sheer fact of agreeing to accept the veil of illusion that we accept when we come in to experience this life it could just be that you know you know having been living life from the point of this illusion of separateness illusion of not really understanding who you truly are um, that has caused you to be lacking in authentic, real, true spiritual authenticity. That that is not some. That's not something to be ashamed of. All of us accept that. Okay, but you are going through a period of um, ascending towards a greater level of authenticity. This is really excellent. Okay, so in terms of that. Um, this is really just a level of uh, uh, some encouragement towards continuing okay continuing to do the work that you're doing right now all right excellent let's move to the last phase of this reading here god source creator please provide us with the further messages that you have what it is you really want uh, ophiuchus your ophiuchus to know please one last shuffle here okay 
What do you want your Elf Yukins to know at this time, please, God's first creator? What do you need them to know? What is within their best interest to hear? First card is the Hanged Man. It makes perfect sense. What do you need your Elf Yukins to hear and know at this time? What would serve them? The Moon. Okay. And then you have Justice reversed. The Ten of Pentacles reversed. You... Okay. Aha! There you go. Ace of Swords. One last card. Oh, you get two more. Okay. Five of Cups reversed. And the Five of Wands upright. All right. And then the Page of Cups. So, um... First thing I want to say, overall energy is the Page of Cups. This is a level of reconciliation. Okay? Reconciling. Healing. Um... I will say, first thing I want to say is that I feel like you are ready and willing to step up or to start speaking up, communicating with someone, with other people around you, maybe even just with God's source creator. But I don't want, I, I want to make it very clear that I don't feel like you're doing this with intentions to argue or with, engine, with intentions to fight or to one up someone or to knock someone down. This is not a five of swords energy. This is a five of wands energy. Five of Wands can be a difficult energy, um, a challenging energy, sure, but it's nowhere near as destructive or violent even as the Five of Swords energy. Okay, I want to make that very clear, or at least Spirit wants me to make that very clear for you to understand. In, in whatever way that you are ready to or willing to start to speak up, it's not with intentions to fight someone or to battle someone or to come out on top, be the victor. It's literally just with intentions to work something out, to iron it out, to speak your peace and find a resolution okay because you're coming out of a level of sadness and sorrow five of cups is reversed now and then the pa the page of cups is your overall energy at the bottom of the deck that does speak towards reconciliation and this very well could be just you reconciling with spirit okay with your higher self all right. For some of you, there is a level of consciously having gone in a very different direction than what your spirit was calling for. But please understand that you're not being reprimanded or judged for that. But what you are going through right now is a time period of reconciling that, of getting back on some sort of aligned pathway, uh, aligning your energies between your conscious physical self and your spiritual self. OK, which are all one in the same. OK, now. In this, you have the hanged man, the moon, and justice in reverse. So the hanged man feels very appropriate here because the hanged man does is it speaks to a level of being stuck or stagnant, not being able to move, being suspended in some way. But that stuck stagnancy and or suspension is really meant to and ultimately, you know, should you really vi roll with it, Ultimately, eventually, it will lead to a change in perspective or it will lead to an understanding, a recognition of something needing to change, of needing to go in a different direction, of needing to pursue something in a different way, in a need to pursue something different altogether, potentially. OK, the hanged man is here to the moon. Um, what I'm getting with this is in your hanged man state state. In your change in perspective, you are starting to recognize the illusions around you or maybe the dreams. I am getting dreams with the moon here. Something is you truly dream of or certain dreams that are, are greater in alignment with you. You're starting to become aware of this. But also while you're becoming aware of either the illusions or the deception, not really deception, but maybe illusions, confusion, but also the dreams that you may really truly have underneath the surface, you're starting to recognize how there has been injustices surrounding that. Justice in re reverse, moving forward towards the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, starting to recognize that the injustice that you've been experiencing is surrounding something that you've been working for toward in the long term or maybe for a long time. OK, and this is definitely taking me back to or translating into some of the things that you actually really, truly dream of. Like I said, as you're working on um cultivating this awareness of the true cosmic energy or the true cosmic reality a nature of your true self some of you are actually starting to become aware of things that you that are of dreams that are within your energy within your energetic makeup that you may not have been aware of previously and with those coming online you're starting to recognize the injustice of what it is you've been working towards justice in reverse ten of pentacles in reverse 
that no longer serve you or quite frankly what you really may be coming to terms with at this moment Ophiuchus is how these things never really did serve you or maybe they served a previous version of you but now the new version of you that's coming online is way more authentic authenticity here reversed is way more authentic and thus recognizing the injustice or how justice is not going to be served in terms of the things that you've been working towards in the long term from the past ten of pentacles reversed to the ace of swords there is the clarity there is the truth there is the awareness and that is helping you to come out of a level of sorrow a level of grief five of cups reversed now you're able to come out of that grief and sorrow because you're becoming aware of what doesn't fit or what has been an injustice what has been um, less than authentic for you and in some cases for some of you you didn't even know why you were depressed you just felt this sense of depression this sense of depletion and you're like what the hell is going on why do I feel like this well you feel like this because now you're becoming you're starting to understand why you feel like this or you have felt like this because now you're coming to a greater level of understanding of your true cosmic nature your true cosmic reality and how your physical or 3d expression has not been been authentic and that is allowing you to say oh okay this is starting to help me understand why I feel like this and so be, or why I've, I have been feeling like this and because of that now you are in a position to work it out five of wands the five of wands can represent creative chaos okay but you're in the process of working that at that out now ironing out those kinks excuse me excellent all right Closing message for your Ophiuchans, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node, God, Source, Creator. Closing message that you have for your Ophiuchans. Okay, first card is the Seven of Wands. Then you have the Four of Swords. Okay, very good. Closing message. Then you have the Two of Swords with Death. Okay. And then overall energy is the Six of Pentacles. So your closing message here, Ophiuchus, at this time is to hold, keep your boundaries up. Uh, protect yourself. You may want to go into a level of um, a little bit of a hermit mode. You may really want to be focusing on protecting yourself. Uh, may, it's not, I mean, this isn't hermit mode. Uh, okay, wait. As I'm speaking through this, I hear I'm saying hermit mode. That makes me think of the, um, the hermit card, which talks about introspection, going within, uh, okay, but that card has not come out here. That card has not come out because you're already in this hermit mode, introspective type energy. Okay, but what Spirit was wanting to, a God Source Creator is wanting to encourage within you at this time while you're in that hermit mode energy of self reflection and introspection, make sure you're protecting yourself. Make sure you're keeping hard boundaries or, or uh, the appropriate boundaries up. If that means, Ophiuchus, that you need to really work on work on this in alone space, if you really need to be spending time alone, allow yourself to do that. Do what it is that is necessary, you know, within reason. Don't go overboard with it, but do what it is that's within, within reason that is necessary for you to be able to have a clear mind, four of swords, so that you can focus on so that you can focus within. Okay, now I see why I'm getting the hermit energy. Also, not just the seven of wands, but also the two of swords. This is not a time to be focusing on what's going on externally for you. This is really a time for you to be going within. So make sure that you do what it is you can. You take the appropriate steps and or measures so that you can go within and be safe and, 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 and um, peaceful enough to have a clear mind, to receive or gain the wisdom, the knowledge, the insight, the direction, the guidance that you need because you are going through a transformation right now. Death. I actually, Spirit is encouraging me to uh, influence me to define, to, to clarify death for you a little bit more. Clarify death for a little bit more. What do you want to say about death for Ophiuchus, God's source creator? Queen of Pentacles. There's more. Okay, anything you want to say about death for Ophiuchus at this time, please, Spirit. Five. Ah, there's the Five of Swords, Ophiuchus. Okay. Queen of Pentacles with the Five of... Wow. Shh. <laughs> Look at this. And then here's the Hermit. All right. There you go. Okay. It's showing up officially. All right. Good. We're on point. We're on point. Okay. Um, so what's happening in this death period? You are coming to terms with... 
Five of Swords energy, how you've been taken advantage of, I'm hearing, how you've been sabotaged, or maybe even how you've been sabotaging yourself. Uh, this is this Five of Swords is definitely resonating with this the reality of this Ten of Pentacles reversed. Um, I'm feeling very specifically that some of you have been consistently working towards things that do not and never have served you. Okay, um, and that's why it's showing up as you're transforming out of this five of swords energy. So this five of swords energy is a very lose lose type of energy. Okay, um, so in some cases, especially with this queen of pentacles energy, in some cases, uh, many of you have been coming from a very enabling type of situation or a mindset, or at the very least, what it is you've been flowing with. We'll say that's what spirit is saying. Whatever it is you've been flowing with in the past was kind of an enabling type of situation, okay? You were trying to perform or trying to do things, trying to create things in the long term that were not that were not authentic to you, that were not serving you, which is one representation of how you have been sabotaging yourself, but also you've been trying to serve others in ways that actually don't really serve them, that really just enable a sense of negativity or lacking in authenticity for other people as well, okay? And that's the other representation of the Five of Swords. Take it as it resonates, this is a general reading, but there is generally some sort of situation that you are transforming out of that you were dealing with in the past, previously in your life, Life that has been a lose-lose situation. Number one, because it was not authentic for you. It was also not authentic for the other people, but also there was a level of it enabling some sort of reality that was detrimental on all sides, I want to say. But what, you're what it is you're transforming out of at this time, how you're transforming out of this is coming to terms with your sense of self-worth and what it is you truly bring to the table. I'm hearing specifically, Ophiuchus, what it is you actually want to be bringing to the table, which is in a direct alignment with this new level of authenticity that's coming online for you here. And especially cordoning yourself off or putting up boundaries, seven of wands, in terms of how you have been depleted, how there has been a lack of reciprocity. If you remember, the six of pentacles was at the bottom of the deck when I pulled, originally started pulling this tarot message for you, okay? Okay. Okay. I'm going to leave it there. Spirit is saying that's the end of the message. Thank you so much for tuning in, Ophiuchus. I truly hope this was helpful for you. Please don't hesitate to smash that like button for me. Leave me a comment in the comment section down below of telling me, letting me know, confirming how this resonated for you. Um, and uh, subscribe if you feel so inclined and you haven't done so already. Yeah. But with that said, I hope you have a fantastic day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes. Excellent. Bye.